Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on the Top Boxer Classic Bag Gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Top Boxer Classic Bag Gloves. In stock form, it comes in this vintage brown colorway, although just like anything else from Top Boxer, I'm sure you can reach out to him and he can get you a custom colorway if you want to do so. It comes in two different sizes, medium or large. I got mine in large, which is roughly about 12 ounces. When I put them on the scale, if I can recall, they came in at like 11.8 and 11.9 ounces. I just rounded up. It only comes in Velcro closure, and these are handmade in Pakistan uh, with full 100% genuine leather construction. Just a beautiful looking bag glove overall. Now, the best way I describe these gloves is they're kind of a hybrid with a newer style training glove and an old school style bag glove or bag mitt. So from back in the day, you know, old school bag gloves uh, were very, very simple. You know, it was, it's almost like a gardening glove, essentially. It was a, it was a glove that was made out of leather. Um, most of the time, it had just one oval finger compartment for your four fingers, and then it had either an open thumb or just had a free-floating thumb like this one does. Sometimes there might have been a little bit of padding, like a little sliver, a quarter inch of padding over the knuckles, but oftentimes it would just be the leather itself, and that was it. And the whole premise and idea behind that is to really uh, perfect your punch technique, your punch form, and being able to really make a nice tight fist and to really strengthen your knuckles, your hands, your forearms, and your wrist. And so that was basically the whole premise behind the little school bag gloves, which I still love to use today. Um, I feel like I get excellent power transfer, excellent feedback with them, and uh, I feel like they're one of the more underutilized and underused um, you know, boxing apparatus or boxing gloves in that regard. So to me, this is kind of a hybrid between that. You'll, the first thing you'll probably notice, obviously, is gonna be the open or the free floating thumb. Um, a lot of the old school bag gloves either had a, a cut tip, so the tip of your thumb would be exposed, or they would be closed off like this, uh, but the thumb is completely free. So obviously this is not gonna be used for any kind of sparring because of that, uh, but it allows you to really make a nice tight fist. Uh, the big key difference with this is that it utilizes an orthopedic foam padding. So the padding over the knuckles is definitely more on the medium to dense side. So for those of you that want to go with that old school experience of having that free floating detached thumb, but maybe have um, some knuckle soreness, you want a little bit more shock absorption over your knuckles, then this basically combines the best of both worlds. So you have definitely a much more protective padding that's orthopedic foam over the knuckles. Um, the design of the glove, you can see, again, kind of sticks to that old school roots. You don't really have any kind of flashy graphics whatsoever on the glove. The only thing that designates the glove brand is gonna be just the top boxer cloth patch that's stitched onto the Velcro strap itself. Just says top boxer in gold signature work and the website you know, topboxer.com. But outside of that, that's really it. You have the large right here, the, basically the size tag. Uh, the Velcro strap is, I'd say about two and a half inches uh, in height or thickness, if you want to call it. You can see the leather has a nice satin sheen to it. And rotating to this side, you do have that detached thumb that has ventilated holes on it. Also ventilated holes on the palm. Nice large grip bar as well. And that's something too that you don't typically see in some of those older bag mitts. Some of the newer style ones like Rival, uh, I believe their RB5 has a, a grip bar in it, if I can recall. But the old school one, literally were almost like gardening gloves. Um, and that's pretty much that. Uh, the piping, like I love with other Top Boxer products, just like this one, is, uh, I feel like he uses that oversized piping, kind of gives it just more of a rugged feel. You have that right there, the Velcro strap opens up. And you have, I'd say an inch of uh, padding on the back of your wrist, nice and dense. And again, a big difference, aside from the padding over the, the hand compartment, is you have more padding around the wrist. So again, more of an emphasis on padding, protection, and support. Uh, you have, I'd say, about maybe three quarters of an inch of padding on the inside of the wrist that comes up to right about here, and the same on this side. So to me, this is essentially like a, what you want to call it, like a top box or win one style glove, almost. 
but with a detached thumb. That's essentially what it is, like a 12 ounce uh, training glove with this being the key difference. Uh, the glove has a, what they call their Playboy liner, which is basically like a tricot smooth satin liner, which I like. Um, you do have the elastic pretty much standard on 99% of boxing gloves that you have there that keeps uh, the piping piece right here together. So when you have your hand in there, whether or not you decide to use hand wraps, it doesn't just bulge out. It keeps everything nice and tight in that area of the glove. Here's the Velcro strap, the, the Velcro on the back of the glove. And that's pretty much it. Quality wise, to me, these gloves are top notch. I, like I said before, and I'll say it again, I feel like Top Boxer is probably some of the, if not the best bang for buck um, boxing equipment out there. You know, all the equipment I've gotten from Muhammad has always been, you know, great quality, not ridiculously expensive, price right. And, and again, I think that's what makes Top Boxer such a, a good and successful brand is that, that formula that you're not just getting, um, you know, killed when it comes to price for some equipment that you see out there that might be way overpriced. Uh, but overall, looks good. I mean, I could, if I wanted to nitpick, you know, like the, the stitching right here around the thumb, you might be able to see a little bit like of the stitching, a little kind of coming out right there. But the leather quality is top notch, has a beautiful, consistent uh, sheen to it. I haven't had any issues with the padding breaking down. I use this on my heavy bag. And the, the leather is bonded nicely to the inner foam. Um, it's hard to say what the, you know, as far as weight goes, they came in at like 12 ounces and it's not advertised by a numeric weight. So uh, I wouldn't really necessarily say like, okay, well these are overweight or underweight because basically it's a kind of a, a, a kind of open when it comes to that, when it comes to bag mitts, you're not really concerned the weight. I mean, even those old school bag mitts that were basically, again, gardening gloves really didn't have any weight to them. So I wouldn't be so much concerned with weight when it comes to this as I would be with just the comfort and the protection that you're looking for. But you can see the seams and the stitching looks really clean and tight. Patch looks really good on the back. You can see the inner liner looks clean. The cuts are done nicely. Everything's nice and consistent. Well balanced gloves, not top heavy or it doesn't have any really much of a, a, a bending point to the glove. So you don't have that separation. It feels like the foam in here from the punch all the way, the punch surface all the way to the back, feels like it's actually just one piece. So it comes down to the cuff right here where some gloves you separate the wrist support section and the upper half of the glove and there's a seam in between. This to me is all one piece of foam so it keeps everything uh, nice and rigid. Comfort wise, let's go ahead and slide our hands in here. Um, very comfortable glove. I, it took me a little getting used to because I wasn't used to having a bag mitt that had this amount of padding in it. Typically the bag mitts I've used in the past like the RB50 from Rival, the RB5, um, my barrack bag mitts doesn't have that much padding. There might be just like a little sliver of foam over the knuckles, but that's really it. So I wasn't used to having this amount of padding around my wrist on the back of my hand, but it's a very well padded glove. You can see, again, my thumb is completely free. So you can, you know, you could tuck your thumb in like you traditionally would when you're, you're making a fist. Um, you can have it to the side. Some people put their thumb kind of into this little nook right there on the side of their hand. It's completely up, up to you, but you have that. Uh, the freedom to do so with your thumb, how you'd like to do that. Uh, I would just be mindful to be careful when you are throwing your punches because you can jam or break your thumb if you're not very careful with that. Uh, the glove itself has a good amount of uh, broken in feeling to it. You can see I can open and close my hand relatively easy, which I love. Um, the finger compartment is, is nice and deep. It has a piece of neoprene at the very tip, so over time it kind of conforms to the shape of your fingers. Um, not too wide, not too narrow again. The right amount of depth and width in the hand compartment. The liner feels great. Um, I feel like the liner, they do a nice job of it not bunching up and not having over, like an over amount of material that's just kind of pushing against your fingers there. Uh, the wrist support feels really good, especially for a bag mitt. So overall, I love the way these feel, very comfortable. And the more you break them in, you know, these will definitely be a, a much more better bag glove uh, from when you start with these gloves, just like anything else once you break it in. Um, I think protection and performance wise, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more protective, these definitely would be for you. If you want something that you can really work on a heavy bag, um, depending on the density of the bag, if you have something more stiffer, uh, firm filled bags, softer bags, aqua bags, these definitely offer really good shock absorption in that regard. 
um, and is really good for uh, doing that type of training. Uh, when it comes to hitting mitts, you know, there's been a couple times where I've hit mitts with bag mitt, uh, with these bag gloves, with the detached thumb. Um, I stopped doing that because I felt like there was times where if I was hitting like a paddle uh, or a mitt, I might hit it at the wrong angle or if I throw a hook, my thumb might be sticking out improperly and I end up jamming it. And because a lot of it, it's not just you throwing your punches, it's whoever your coaches or whoever's holding the mitts for you. They might come in at an angle and you might not expect it. Um, and you can end up jamming your thumb. So I actually stopped using bag mitts on the mitts, the punch mitts because of that, and kind of stick exclusively to using these for the bag. Um, but again, that's completely up to you. You train however you see fit. Um, but I'd say that this is definitely more on the protective side. So again, for those of you that want to protect a bag glove uh, with a detached thumb, this is right in your wheelhouse in that regard. Cost-wise, these gloves are 85 bucks with free shipping to the United States. I think they actually do free shipping worldwide if I'm if I'm not mistaken. There might be a couple of countries that maybe they, they can't do that to, but from what I recall on the website, I know here to the United States it's free shipping, $85. Uh, it's a killer price. Again, like I mentioned earlier, Top Boxer does a great job uh, with value for what you're getting. Full general construction is a beautiful glove, performs great, um, and definitely up there when it comes to, to bad gloves. So, when I do my list for top five or top 10 bag gloves later on this year, uh, I could definitely foresee this being on that list. Where on the list, I'm not too sure yet. I'll have to go through it and just kind of check all the boxes off to see which ones are better than what, which other ones. But uh, I definitely feel it'll be on that list just based on the criteria of the, the padding, the comfort, the performance, um, and the price obviously is, is killer. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these top boxer classic bag gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.